Battle study six. Still going. But this is this is the last regular class. This last one. Unless there's more after the final exams that I don't I'm not aware of. Second term of everything. Oh see, this is our last class. But don't let those energy levels drop before we wrap things up. You've shown that you have more than enough knowledge to be strong, super strong battlers. I don't know what I have... Uh, that I have much left to teach you. But we can always aim for never... Uh, forever... Never greater... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that's... That's... It's fine. Ever greater heights. So today I'm going to teach you about the rules of Link Battles. When two trainers participate in link battles together, they can engage th in either side or in either single battles <laughs> either side, or double battles with each other. If you're playing a in a group of four, you can all battle each other in a multi in multi battles. Yeah, that's that's the way you can do four like one one v one v one v one. Like a four way battle is just have two teams basically just fight each other, which I for some reason it took me so long to realize that. It took me years of my life to realize you could do a, a two uh, versus two battle, but make it a 1v1v1v1, v1 v1 v1. so. Now, when you're out having battles during your independent study, you can use whatever number of Pokemon you like, and they can be any level. But in Link battles, there are special rules to keep in mind. Some of these special rules involve adjusting Pokemon's levels. Now, uh, the no restrictions rule set Set, set lets all the Pokemon stay at their current levels. It lets trainers use multiple Pokemon of the same species and multiple multiples of the same held item too. But if you choose normal rules, all, all Pokemon will be set to level 50 for, all, for your battles. Regardless of what level they actually are. <laughs> the Pokemon like fist like, oh darn. <laughs> that, that's why I'm mad. <laughs> Imagining the Pokemon doing that pose. Anyway, this even includes lower, uh, p level Pokemon. They'll get a power boost to participate. Normal rules lets you use multiples of the same Pokemon species. And the same held items too. The great part of this rule is that it uh, le lets you any of your Pokemon participate. All they have to do is learn some good moves. Lastly, the, ru the rule that... Uh, Set cold, set cold flat rules. Mostly affects Pokemon over level 50, such as Pokemon that will be set to level 50 for the duration of the battle. The flat rule set is one, one often used, often used for official tournaments. This rule set does not allow trainers to use multiple Pokemon of the same species or multiples of the same held item. Alright, here's a question for you. Which rule set should you pick if you want to use a lower level Pokemon and keep its level low? Flat rules? That's the one, you kid. Looks like you are listening to the lesson. Whew. If you've got some clever strategy that you need to use a level 5 Pokemon for, your best bet is to choose the flat rules set. Of course, you can also choose no restrictions if you want to battle with any Pokemon you want, at any level, and with any held item. That's a pretty good rule set for when you want to battle freely with friends. In conclusion, normal rules adjust all Pokemon to level 50. Flat rules lets you use Pokemon, uh, low level Pokemon at their actual levels. I hope you'll use these tips to have some int- or exciting battles with your friends. Oh man, I was just about to suggest we do some hands-on practice to really drive home the point. But I guess we are truly out of time. Next class will be our final exam. Aim for a perfect score. Osu Osu. Well, there we go. Time for our final exam.
It's finally game day. Today's our final exam. Time to put on your game faces and do battle with those test sheets. That's what the battles are. <laughs> which cheer boosts attack and special attack for all allies during a terror raid battle. Go all out. Out we go. Go all in. Go all out. What do you call the battles that Pokemon sent out with the R button do on their own? You can do it, battles! Auto fights? Auto battles. How should I obtain how should you obtain LP? Hack the system? <laughs> Why is that an option? Exchange materials. High level Pokemon are adjusted to what level when using flat rules in link battles. Level 50? When using normal rules in Link Battles, you can use uh, multiple Pokemon of the same species. And multiples of the same held item. I th think... I think that's true. Time's up, put your pencils down. I saw you giving it everything you've got. I'm sure you, you'll all get perfect scores. You all did so well in my class. If you pass this test, you're officially you'll be officially be battle masters. Yay! Now go ask for your surely stellar scores at the front desk, you little rascals. And there we go. I'm done with school. I'm finally done. After all the it, the day that I've been, I mean it's probably more than day, but you know, it's been a lot of a lot of lessons. Lessons and studies. Five out of five questions answered us correctly. That feels good. You have now finished all of your classes and passed all of their exams. I have this for you from Director Clavel. Five XP Kenny's L. You can now focus all of your efforts on this year's treasure hunt. Be careful out there. Well, I'm almost done. But that's all the classes. Now I just have to talk to people. <laughs> it's never gonna end. Two, three, four, five. And that's that's just the, for the moment. There might be more after as well, so. Oh, but it feels good. It really feels good. How did I know where the person was? I had no idea. And I, yeah, where, where I looked in their exact correct direction. Why, if it isn't Jeremy from Class 1A? Are you perhaps interested in the rest of the old tale I to told you in class? Sure, yeah I am. I'm very interested. Hey, it is convenient that you would take the bait I presented in class. Have I fallen into the trap? A vessel, a sword, a set of tablets, and a set of beads. After obtaining these four treasures, the king's castle was destroyed. Why, you ask? Because these four treasures were actu actually four Pokemon! Real- Oh, the hair twitch. No. Is your hair actually Pokemon? I'd believe it. As these Pokemon were passed from human hands to- To human hand as treasures, they slowly became tainted by hubris and greed. Finally, after coming in contact with the rap- Hang on. Rapacity of the king at that at that time, they awakened as disasters and began to rampage out of control. The king called the renowned Pokemon wielders to defend the country, and after a fierce battle, these incarnations of disaster were quelled. It is said that these four Pokemon were sealed away somewhere in Paldia. Sure, it'd be a shame if I accidentally released one of those. <coughs> So, what do you think? Would you, would you say the story is just make-believe? No, I don't think so. Hey, very astute of you. I have read many historical disaster reports, personal journey, journals and the like. There is much to support the truth of this story. If I am able to prove the story's veracity myself, I will be sure to let you know. Very nice. Let's see if there's anything new. Probably not, but I should probably just go to a different floor and find out where else there is. What to do now? 
Oh, you do have more for me. <laughs> That's what I thought. It's hard to tell at a glance. Jeremy, the time has come. The cursed treasures, the four Pokemon of Ruin. They exist! And I stand upon the truth of, in the newspaper of all places. In an interview piece with a carpenter, no less. The Pokemon world has apparently used sacred stakes to seal these treasures of ruin in shrines. That sounds interesting. Do we get to see the insides of these shrines? Probably not, but it'll be cool. There is a separate shrine for each of the four Pokemon and eight stakes driven into the ground. Okay, eight is the goal for each one. In the areas surrounding each shrine, keep the power of ruin at bay. I got that one, I'm pretty sure. In other words, if all the stakes for a given shrine were to be removed, it would release the Pokemon held inside. Don't you think it would be nice to free those Pokemon from their, from the confines of their tiny little shrines, Jeremy? Sure, what could possibly go wrong, other than the entire destruction of the Pokemon world? But you know, that that's fine. As long as we get rid of the language class, it'll be fine. Hey, a kind soul. <laughs> I see. You are proving truly useful. According to the descendant of the Pokemon wielders in the story, you, ha you must have a bond with a Pokemon in order to remove the stakes. I'm sure someone as Pokemon savvy as yourself would have no trouble at all with that. You can choose for yourself whether to believe in me or not, but I will mark the locations of these shrines on your map. I'd rather go myself, of course, but skipping out on my class classes to go adventuring seems to have made the director a little suspicious of me. Hey, you think you can think of it as part of your treasure hunt? Treasures of Ruin are still treasures after all. I hope you'll investigate these shrines if you are at all inclined to do so. Actually? Like, like, like actually? Like actually? Ooh. I haven't seen that one. Well, now we can see the shrines, at least. We can't see the stakes, but we can see the shrines. And that's a pretty good start. Get an idea of the surrounding area for them. And the spaces in between them. It's very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Yes. Well, I guess we can possibly unlock some more helpful stuff from the different teachers then. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Please tell me you're going to mark the stakes on my map. That'd be incredible. Probably not going to happen, but possible. Also, I see that green book and that's probably the thing that you're supposed to read. I do hope you will take on the hunt for the treasures of Ruin if you are so inclined. Wait, is that it? So what's near? Why is it... Is it just still there? It's probably just still there. For no reason. Maybe it's just there until you do the quest. That would, that would make sense, probably. Now, where do I want to go is my other question. Who's available? Uh, I guess I should get my reward for my language classes so I can leave that forever. Just forget about that guy. Now, if I was a language teacher who wanted to see the suffering of many, I'd be over this way. How? How? What? what how? My my sense my senses are tingling. How did I turn exactly to where he was and turn to the other person? Well, how does this happen, Jeremy? I'm in a bit of a pinch. Take a look at this. This poor me really doesn't seem to be feeling well. I don't know if the poor thing can e even stand up. What should I do? What should I do? Use a potion on a... Yeah. Oh, right. I could use a potion. Do you have any on you? I have... No. <laughs> the game is self-aware. My character realizes how much he hits the other character. It's... It's too perfect. 
You don't? Ah, what should I do? What should I do? Well, hold on. I had exactly one potion in my pocket. That's convenient. Why were you asking me for my items? You're just trying to steal from me. This will fix you right up, my friend. Potion power, go. Exactly one potion, eh? Turn out your pockets. Phew, that seems to have done just the, tr the, tr the trick, just in the nick of time. But this Pormie doesn't appear to belong to a trainer. Hmm, could, could a wild Pokemon have wandered in onto the academy grounds? Still, I can't just leave it he here al alone without anyone to make sure it's okay. It's decided then. I, Salvatore, will just have to lend all the helping hands I have to take care of Pormie in this touch and go situation. Mercy. Very much for your advice, Jeremy. Came even closer with Mr. Salvatore. Adios. Au revoir. Farewell. Yeah, you too, sir. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Well, where to next? Did he move? Yes, he did. Well, I guess I should go there then. Also, the first floor marker is still there, so I don't know what's about, but that's about then. Ah, uh, thank you, game. Also, hey, it's Pikachu. Pika P Pikachu. The full title. Oh, my dear Jeremy. Thanks for your advice from before. Pour me as well. Well, is, is. Well, just see for yourself. Oh, so ha such a happy boy. Look at his little happy face. It is feeling better now? Question mark. Hmm, yeah, it's feeling better. But this particular poor me may just be a, a bit meek, I suppose. I had her- I had Nurse Miriam take a look as well. And she says there's nothing wrong with it, health-wise. So, you shouldn't have any injuries, ailments, or the like. Even so, it never utters so much as a cry, which is odd. That part has even Mr. Jack here stumped. Sorry that I couldn't be of any help. Don't worry about it. I have some more informa information now, thanks to the Academy's security cameras, though. It seems Pormi was attacked by wild Pokemon and fled here to, to the Academy grounds. Maybe still in a bit of shock from that experience, and can't bring itself to speak yet. The only time we hear about a Pokemon being attacked by another Pokemon in the wild. Yep, if that's the case, there's absolutely no problem with keeping it quiet. That's not their problem. I, I didn't read the... anyway. We can just attend... T tendre. Wait, that is. Until it feels like talking. That's all we can do, really. Even if you speak all sorts of languages, there's no guarantee you can understand. So why you try to teach us how to listen to Pokemon and you don't know how to listen to Pokemon yourself and you're, you're just trying to make fools of us. You're making a fool of yourself. What's going on in someone's heart? But you have no fear. I won't give up. No, I'll keep on trying until we've figured out each other out. Our, our, our beef is brewing. Well, there's many more places to go, apparently. This is the academy that never ends. It just goes on, on and on, my friends. Well, I do want to go, but not... Not yet. Hang on. just want to go around the entrance. The entrance is a very big hitbox, apparently. My dear Jeremy... Pormi is here, here as healthy as health is as healthy as it can be. Ha ha ha! Well, it seems b being quiet is simply a part of its this of this one's personality. 
but it's hard for a Pokemon to communicate with its fellows without speaking up. As you know, wild Pokemon use their cries to tell each other all sorts of things, like the location of food, or whether there are predators nearby. So even if I were to release it back into the wild, I'm afraid that it may not be able to do those sorts of things. What do you think, Jeremy? Where does poor me belong? With you, Mr. Salvatore. Oh, I didn't expect to hear... Mon Nom, my name. So, you think it should stay here, with me? I was so focused on getting it back in good health so it could return to the wild that I didn't even consider that possibility. What do you think about that idea, my little poor me friend? Sounds pretty happy. Poor me, it spoke at last. Even without speaking Pokemon language myself. I know that reply means yes. Oh, my dear Jeremy. Mercy, so very, very much for all your, your help with poor me. All the more reason you should have this. Here, a rare Pokemon for you to raise. Received a Meowth? Okay, I'm pretty sure I already have one of those. I am so happy. Yes, I, Salvatore, will take it upon myself to look after poor me for good. I will indeed. Felt a close bond with Mr. Salvatore, but not with his lessons. Well, there we go. That's another teacher's story complete. Now, where else do I want to go? Let's go back to the art room. My throat is going to be dead <laughs> after all this recording. All of this talking. Why, hello there, Jeremy. You always seem to appear at the most critical, uh, cr crucial mo of moments. Ah, uh, is something going on? Well, you see... Mr. Hassel, I'm here to collect you. So I see. I'm glad that you finally made up your mind about taking your place as the leader of the family. Well, it is indeed true that I have made up my mind. I have made up my mind to continue teaching here at the Academy. How, how could you... Are you saying that you don't, you don't care what happens to our proud lineage? I am saying that I have other priorities. Have a look around at the art decorating this room, would you? The children here are letting their senses, their perceptiveness, uh, grow freely. I do not wish to say that protecting our family's ancient bloodline is of no importance. I simply wish to see young talent blossom and grow into the future. It just seems so much more fun to me, if I am being honest. What utter nonsense. And yet, your fearless, unflinching commitment to that nonsensical vision proves you are worthy of carrying the will of the dragons. Master Hassel, I will not give up. I will come as many times as I need in order to change your mind. Oh, by all means, my door is open. I think you'll soon find you've met your match in stubbornness. You thought I could be ca cowed by someone... Uh, some story spun up about my father's deteriorating health? I am not, too e not so easily fooled. Tch, I'll return another day. Ah, I'm sorry you had to see all of that. I was so very close to resigning my post as a teacher and returning to my home. But the stu students here gave me courage to say no. That includes you, Jeremy. Your words truly brought me strength. I cannot think of a way I can possibly repay my debt to you, my you, you young ones. Take this, if you will. Insufficient as it may be in expressing the full breadth of my gratitude. 50 Dragon Terror Shards for just talking to NPCs. <laughs> well, now you know if you're watching this video, and I hope that this helps you. So, uh, yeah. Now then, let it be clear to all. 
I, Hassel, will continue to on my chosen path as instructor to the youths of our world. You formed a close bond with Mr. Hassel. That's a good storyline. Anyway. Where to next? I'm gonna try talking to the person in the main room, ground floor again. See if I could actually get the marker to go away. Hello. I do hope you'll take on the hunt for the treasure. Okay, that's what you said before. So there's conditions and catch a Pokemon. Do you want to read it? No, I'm good. I'm guessing there's other ones that just stick out that you're supposed to look at. So then what am I supposed to do? I don't know. Anyway, let's go to the cafeteria. Welcome. Hope your studies are doing going okay. What do you have today? Uh, I don't really need a sandwich, but that's cool that it's there. Hello? <laughs> I'm trying to talk to you. Just that it didn't work. It's fine. Jeremy, you scared me. Were you cooking something? Oh no, I'm not here for anything food related at all. So why are you here? I was just walking around to the entrance hall. I felt this, that intense gaze that I told you about before. So I quickly ducked into the cafeteria here. Our cafeteria has only one entrance, so I thought it, I might be able to discover the identity of the person watching me if they followed me in here. Ah, someone's come just now. Huh, that's weird. I thought I saw her come in here. I guess I won't be able to ask my question today, either. That girl, I feel like I've seen her several times before. She seems to have be a student here, but I get the feeling that her question is not about her studies. Next time I see her, maybe I'll go start up a conversation myself. It could have been a little scary being here on my own. I'm glad you were here with me. Okay. Is there another place I need to go now? For more of that? Ah, uh, looks like there isn't. Or is there? Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Now, if I was going to have an interesting story related event, I think I'd be further down this way, right? Right? Maybe not. My senses are wrong. Ah, oh, that's fine. Should have known it was over here. I thought it was too obvious to be over here. Jeremy, help me keep an eye out, would you? I've set up a little ambush here for that girl who keeps watching me. She'll be here any second. Uh, <laughs> an ambush? Why? Well, you see, it's not very pleasant knowing she's just staring at me all the time. And now I know what she looks like after seeing her in the cafeteria. Ah. It's you, isn't it? You're the one who's been secretly watching me recently. So the time. How, how do you know I... I guess you must have noticed me. I am... So sorry. Well, of course I noticed. You're watching me practically all day, every day. After all, I assume there's something you want to ask me. Y yes, I do. I've been a huge fan of yours since your time as a gym leader, and I love rock type moves so very much. Oh my. But you just suddenly retired from your post as gym leader a year and a half ago. Why did you quit? My goodness, is that all you wanted to ask? Yes, your reason for retiring, re retiring was never made public. But it's for, uh, well known among the students here that you just avoid the question any time it's asked. I thought it would be rude to ask you a question that you don't want to answer, so I just couldn't. Find the courage to ask. 
So that's why your gaze felt so very intense. I see. Forgive me. So very intense? Ah, oh, never mind that. As for my reason, I quit my job as a gym leader. I simply wanted to focus more on my job as a teacher. It's not like... It's not that I disliked being a gym leader or anything of that sort. Quite the contrary. Talking about the gym fills me with feelings of nostalgia and sadness. That's why I always, always avoid answering the question when students ask. Oh, I see. Do you have any plans of becoming a gym, gym leader again? Le leader again? No, I'm afraid I don't plan to do so. My sister is doing a splendid job as gym leader in my steed. Stead. I personally find being a teacher most enjoyable these days. But since I am, in fact your teacher, I would appreciate it if you would call me Miss Time. As students do, not just time. Okay. I'm sad to hear about hear that, but I understand. Thank you so much, Miss Time. Well, I suppose that suppose that solves that the mystery. Ah, that m made me feel so nervous. I said so many things to try try to sound cool. I was suddenly a little scared when I felt that girl's intense gaze on me. But having you here with me allowed me to do what I needed to, to what needed to be done to face what turned out to be one of my biggest fans. I must thank you for always showing up at just the right time, Jeremy. Allow me to show you my appreciation a little. I hope these help you on your adventure. 50 rock terror shards. Incredible. I have so many now. Apparently talking to the teachers gets you some good, good rewards, somewhat. Considering how hard terror shards are to get. But anyway, that is it for now. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time.